is this? I'm a fucking rat tail. Hey YouTube. No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Libby, for those of you who don't know me. For those of you who do, welcome back. Um, yeah, so I haven't been around in a while because I've been trash. So, I thought I would come back with a, another story time video because you guys know I love to do story times. Let's just get into the video. <laughs> so, by the title of this story, you can tell that I got in trouble with the cops. I'm bending the truth a little bit. I didn't necessarily get in trouble by the cops, my friend did, but let me rewind a little bit. So let me set the scene, okay? It's Halloween, it's a whole bunch of 19 year olds, and it's my dorm room, okay? And we're dry campus, there's no drinking, no partying, there's RAs, they will get on to you if you drink. So, I hung out with the party kids. Uh, freshman year, my parents thought I was like an alcoholic for a little while. Probably was borderline a little bit. But same girl I lived with freshman year, I lived with sophomore year. Her name was <laughs> If you're watching this, shout out girl, I love you so much. And yeah, I lived with Caroline, who I live with now. <laughs> sophomore year, right? So Caroline and I were like, let's throw a party. So we were just like, okay, I had a friend in town, Hannah. Caroline had her boyfriend at the time in town, Stu. And it was just like, I'm gonna invite one of my friends over. We're just gonna have like a show night. And then our other roommate was a freshman. So she was 18, so she wasn't there. She like had left to go to a party with her friends. And so it was just us three with all of our friends. And we were just like, okay, let's just have a party. We we're all dressed up. I will put pictures as I go. I was Twitter for some reason, and that comes back to play later because one of the cops was talking to me. We're literally all hanging out, we all have our own alcohol, blah, 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 it's all fun and games, and then a bunch of people start coming in, okay? It was in Gamma Phi Beta. So all these Gamma Phi Betas walk in, and Caroline and I and are all just kind of looking at each other like, who the fuck are these people? All these girls just keep coming in, and I think there were some guys too, probably. All these people keep coming in, I'm like, who the fuck are these people? And it's like they're my sisters but I don't even know who they are and I'm just like get them out we're all partying we're all like pre-gaming and we're like let's go to this frat party like there's like a big frat party that we're all gonna go to dressed up the amount of alcohol bottles on our tables like on the counters like you could not see the counters there was at least maybe 15 20 people in our dorm room and everyone had brought multiple alcohol bottles whether it was like wine coolers beers liquor like there was everything and so we were taking like shots of tequila we were all like pretty fucked up. It was very drunk. So we're all taking shots, you know, we're all having fun, and then we are about to leave. Stu has keys in his hands. We are leaving. He is like, okay, I have a car, we're leaving. As we're going towards the door, there's a knock on the door. Everyone gets quiet, okay? And for some reason, we're all like, Hannah, open the door. My friend, my best friend, we're all like, Han open the door. And so we're all hiding, like, you know, bedroom or Caroline's Hannah turns around she's like Libby come here <laughs> and I'm just like why did you call my name to come to the door like why so I walk to the door it's the RAs hey how are you doing sorry I know we're being loud like I'll make sure we're keeping it down and they're like we know what you're doing in there open the door <laughs> and I'm just like oh, fuck cuz I'm it's the type where like your doors like this and my head's like peeking through like hey like I'm fine <laughs> And uh, we had gotten away with it before, but it was never like this because this was like a really loud, like 15, 20 people in a dorm room, like of course they're gonna get. Stop licking my feet, stop. I open the door and there, the amount of alcohol bottles behind me is like ridiculous, like I'm fucked. And remember like almost everybody's hiding right now and they come inside and like I get the other two roommates and I'm just like, come out here like, we're fucked and I'm like it's the RAs and so they're like oh for now what we want you to do is we're gonna need you to like take all these alcohol bottles and throw them away she literally like gets upset and she starts like smash where I have this big trash bag she starts grabbing these alcohol bottles with alcohol in them starts smashing them inside the bottom of the fucking trash bag and I'm just stop like you're gonna break like something's gonna break 
and like you can hear these glass bottles smashing against each other, they're shattering. And I'm just like, stop, like you're getting us in more trouble. And one of the RAs is like, no, she can keep going, she knows what she's doing. He was sassy and he was like, um, she's just gonna get herself in more trouble. You can let her, just don't stop her, she's gonna keep going. Um, I'm sitting here like, fucking stop, like stop. And Caroline's over on the fucking couch having a panic attack. She's not in the, she's basically not really in the story anymore because she's just like freaking out. And the whole time we weren't supposed to have boys in our dorm room. So Stu was just like hiding in her bedroom. And after a while, like we had to get him to come out. He gets exposed that he's staying there. So he has to go stay with somebody else that night, whatever. That's like, so Caroline's basically out of the story. And so me, she's so drunk. She's like more trash than the fucking trash bag we're holding. That was a ridiculous joke. That was so stupid. <laughs> Hannah's sitting there and she's helping us as well. And of course, when all the RAs get there, everyone, all of our, like all of the sorority sisters, they're dipping out. They're all leaving. They don't have to be there. They're all like, let's see your IDs. Like some of them are like, oh, I don't have them, even though they do. And they just like leave. And like, of course, like, we live there. We can't leave. They all leave and they're all going to this party. I'm texting our other roommate, like, don't come back home. You're underage, which not that we weren't, but I was like, don't come back home. Like the like, RAs are here. Like, don't like, you know, and I, we start taking, okay. So she goes into her bedroom she kind of like closes the door so Hannah and I are like okay we'll just we're gonna take the trash bags to the trash chute and we're gonna throw it down whatever because the trash chute was like near our dorm room so we're in the hallway and we turn around it's just like in the hallway like laughing like joking around like all, all up against the wall like stumbling and she's just like laughing and I'm like get the fuck back in the apartment like get back in your get back in our dorm room like what are you doing <laughs> She, she gets back and she locks herself in her bedroom. And the RAs are like, we just need to make sure like everyone's okay before we can leave. So they check on Caroline, me, Hannah, and like, but a will not open her room. And so I'm like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I go to my bathroom and I'm like texting and calling her like, come the fuck out of your room. Like you're gonna get in more trouble if you don't. She's not replying. And you can hear her like clinging. I don't know. It sounds like this. Okay, that's like fucking obvious what the fuck you're doing. She's in her bedroom. I know she's hiding all her alcohol bottles because they were in her closet. And so I know she's like taking all of the alcohol bottles and putting them in her closet and you can hear her clinking these bottles. And I'm just like, dude, you're gonna get us in more trouble. And so the RAs are like, if she doesn't come out of the room, we're gonna have to call the cops. I'm starting to call her again. I'm like, dude, they're gonna call the cops on you if you don't come out of the bedroom. She, no noises. It gets quiet. Like they're talking to her through her door. They're like, if you're not gonna open the door, we're gonna call the cops. Mind you, my boyfriend at the time works for the police on campus, okay? And so I'm like, fucking shit. Like I know he's off work. He knew we were partying. He was like asleep, okay? So I was like, fucking shit. They're gonna call the police and he's gonna like find out that I'm gonna like be in shit with the school and with my boyfriend at the time. I'm freaking out, you know? Like, I'm like, you open the fucking door. Like, I'm freaking out. Doesn't open the door, of course. So the cops get called and the cops come up to our room. Like, we're all sitting here until the cops come. We're all freaking out. Of course, Carolyn and I, we were like, we're gonna get in fucking trouble. Like, the cops are coming to our room. And we were like, it's gonna be in even more trouble because Cops come to our room. The cops get there, I kind of known him, but he didn't know who I was and I was not about to fucking tell him. But he comes in our room and he's like knocking on the door like super hard, like come out of your room. Finally, she comes out, she starts sobbing, okay? Hannah and I are like immediately right next to her side, like she's on her bed sobbing, like the police is like getting onto her. We're sitting next to her, like he was like, why didn't you come out? She was like, I was just so scared, of course. I found out she was hiding in her bed, like her closet. Like she, had, our closets were pretty big and so you could like literally sit down inside of them. And so she was hiding in her closet with the door shut, not opening the doors because she was so drunk. And she was like, she was scared. And so she was like sobbing and like the cops, he had, he was just like, he had to write like an report and was like asking her all these questions and she was crying and Hannah and I are on both sides of her holding her hands and like we're, I'm almost like crying. Like we're all freaking out because like the fucking cops are in our apartment, like in our dorm room. After a while, like he stops doing it and we're all out in the living room and he starts cracking jokes. He's like making a laugh, like it's fine. And we're all, we're all kind of getting a little better. One of the jokes he had turned to me and he was like, are you Twitter or are you a tweet? And I was just like, I'm 
Twitter. And then the RAs were like, we're gonna have to tell the building, blah, blah, blah. So like our RDs, which was like the resident director or something, like he was like over all the RAs. The whole time I'm sitting here thinking like, all right, I might be fine here, but like, in the morning my ex is gonna fucking find out we all kind of go to bed it like kind of blows over and then i texted my ex i told him i was like hey like we just the cops just came up to our room like you're gonna find out like i had like basically told him what happened and i was like i'm so sorry blah blah, blah. like don't be mad at me so the next morning he messages back and he's like basically like saying he was like disappointed but he was like i'm not really mad at you like and he was like she was the only one in the like report like you guys weren't in the report she was the only name written down and so like i was fine we got called down to the rd's office we have this thing in our school called alcohol edu and so we have to take them as freshmen we have to take the course on how to like not drink and do drugs at school or whatever and so we had to take it again because we were drinking which was the fucking worst it takes forever that was how we got in trouble with the cops that's like the closest i've been to being in trouble with the cops and i it wasn't even me like i've like never been pulled over or anything we're gonna knock on the wood here that's crazy but the story is not that intense my ex had told me he was like she got really lucky because normally like had it been any other cop any other you would have gotten arrested and he was like um i don't know why he didn't arrest her that night i don't know like what happened but like usually like she would have been arrested because she was underage drinking and she was being like she wasn't like cooperating she was being belligerent and she was just like i she got fucking lucky honestly i hope you guys liked this story if you did and you want more story times please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below i would love to hear your comments on like what you think about this story it was pretty scary uh didn't stop us from drinking though if you want email notifications hit the little bell and yeah it'll just shoot you an email every time i upload a video uh, thank you guys for watching i will catch you in the next one bye guys peace